G'day. The music you heard as part of the intro there, I'm sure you'll recognise as coming from the 23rd Olympiad held in Los Angeles last year. Well, the Olympics have been around for about 3,000 years, forming part of the Heracles Festival. It lasted in its traditional form up until the birth of Christ. Since then, there have been numerous innovations, right up until today, where we see the birth of the Narogen Agrolympics. But wait a moment. It seems that the very first Agrolympics was held more than 300 years ago in England. Known as the Cotswold Olympics, people came from throughout rural England to take part in the very first Agrolympics. But of course that was in 1636 and here we are in 1985, almost 400 years later, waiting to do it again. This is the Agrolympics opening ceremony. It may not compare with Los Angeles or Moscow, but who cares anyway? Twelve teams from throughout the southwest of Western Australia took part in this, the first ever games. Each team consisted of seven competitors and one dog, plus as many supporters as possible. There were the double Gs, the Highbury Mariners, waiting Apexians, a couple of footy clubs, there were also the Poppenyining Hustlers, the Highbury West Rollers, Bushes, the Magnificent Seven, the Narragin Lions, Williams, and the Narragin Agricultural College, all vying for the major trophy and prizes worth thousands of dollars. The glamour of the Olympics invariably is stolen by the runners, whether sprinters or marathon runners. The Agrolympics is no exception, and although no world records were broken, the ecstasy of beating the field in the gumboot sprint was just the same as if they had been. is of course the trailer pull. Yes, that's quite true. Uh, that's been more or less, uh, uh, I guess, a town a version of, a, of an endurance event. We, we decided to use the trailer, uh, but there again you've, you've got the hay bale uh, and grain bags and wool bale once again.
Oh, there you are. Now look, cooeying is particularly unique to Australia. That's why it's been included in the Narogen Agrolympics. Now, you cooey to attract the attention of a friend or to call for help. These guys are doing none of that. They're hoping to take the title Champion Cooeyer, and it seems they're just about ready. I've never done this. On the dot. Hang on. Serious stuff, this cooing. Got to get the concentration right. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Really high. Seven out of ten for that one, though the crowd did like it. Mm, a bit weak at the end. And that's the sound monitor. He waves his flag. That's a foul. He'd have to do it again. Foul. <laughs> Go away! Thought we needed a few light-hearted events interspersed with the more serious ones just to break it up a little bit. And the rabbit trap toss and the gumboot toss and the cooey were, were three of those sorts of events. Which do you think has been the most popular event with the competitors? Oh, gee, that's a hard one. And certainly these events we're having today aren't exactly popular. They're enjoying them, but they're, of course, very strenuous. And um, I don't really know. The, the bike rider and runner seem to uh, pro provoke a bit of reaction, as did the gumboot marathon around the racetrack, the two laps of the racetrack. Now, you mentioned the gumboot marathon. That must have been extremely gruelling. Yes, well, I noticed they all put three or four pairs of socks on and uh, a tin of baby powder in the boots. And certainly the, the young chap from the Ag College that won it I would have thought he was running in Adidas because he, uh, the way he was sprinting, he just wouldn't have thought he had. but this is a bit different. Yes, it certainly is a test of endurance, Mike. Quite right. There's uh, quite a few activities involved in this particular event. What made you decide to do away with the baton? Well, the batons are actually slowly becoming, uh, becoming torn, but uh, physically carrying a baton is difficult because they're pushing wool bales, they're carrying sheep and what have you. So we've seen quite a few farmers wearing the blue singlet and thought that may have been their trademark. Well, we just looked at the various things that uh, you can find on a farm, and a wool bale is one, a grain bag's another, sheep. Uh, the hurdling is meant to be uh, representative of uh, hurdling a gate, and of course hay bales is uh, a common uh, sight around this area. Well, that's it. That's the end of the first ever GWN Narogen Agro-Olympics. Some 84 people took part in 12 teams. The overall team winner was the Cabelling Football Club and they say they're going to be back again next year to defend their title.